welcome to welcome to my tiny atelier it is so bright back here and it's going to be so beautiful but my goodness is it ever a gigantic mess right now so the first order of business is to clean all of this up right after i finish doing um whatever this is the only thing i know for certain is that this picture needs to go up on the wall for my inspiration and reflection. I want this space to inspire the types of things I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be working on vintage dresses and all my original designs are going to have that same sort of feel. Romantic, classic, just beautiful and sweet. And so I need this space to be intentionally reflective of that. And I'm not a person that can focus at all in clutter. I find it very anxiety inducing to be in such a chaotic space um, and I just like to have a little bit of a blank wall somewhere so that I can stare at the void and my mind can fill in all the gaps. But first we gotta clean it up, get all those dust bunnies out of here. They were not paying rent and so I am evicting them from my house. And getting the spool rack up on the wall will be such a big help on my desk. It's really the only work surface that I have. So getting it up off my desk onto the wall obviously makes it look more intentional, more professional, but it does give me more practical use of my desk as well. And we had the idea of wrapping that ugly wire with some leather cording, which I think huh, brings in the wood tone to look a little bit more natural and earthy. Definitely suits the vibe and is, in my opinion, a lot more attractive than just the plain wire. This vase I got from someone for $5 from a ceramics class we did together. And I love it and it's never really been used. And I thought, hey, why don't I use it for my pens and my scissors and stuff? But it was a little bit too deep. My pens dropped right in. So I shoved some scrap fabric down so that that way they won't fall in and I won't have to dump out all of the contents if I want a pencil. This is a lot more useful this way. This is what my space looks like except for this art. It's fabric with paint on it and I can't explain it. Every time I look at it I just... It's so inspiring to me. It makes me want to do every creative thing. It makes me want to bake. It makes me want to sew. It just fills me with so much joy. It reminds me of my home, but also England, where I did spend some time. I am going to work on a dress that's very Pride and Prejudice inspired, a vintage dress. So it just hits home for me, and I'm so happy it can be up on the wall. It really means the world to me now that it has a permanent spot in a frame that I only found for a couple dollars at the thrift store. So this is my almost completed space, as far as I can go today anyways. I would like a plant for dangly plant above the lamp but that will come a different day. Thanks for visiting my tiny atelier.